From historical documents to ceremonial gifts and event articles of clothing, even articles of clothing, just some of the items which are on display at the Solinden Pinling Exhibition Room, which was officially opened at the College of the Bahamas' Harry Seymour Library. The opening of the space in memory of Solinden came on the 13th anniversary of his passing. And as Andrew Nodes tells us, it's anticipated that the collection and its contents will serve as a major research mechanism, not only for COB students, but for scholars and researchers from around the world. Kirkland Sands is studying education at COB, and he's just one of several students who now have a better appreciation for the life and contributions of the country's first Prime Minister, Salindon Pinling. Get a little understanding of what exactly went on back in the days. I saw a lot of pictures where, um, with the different meetings and the different places, um, Salindon has been, and I, it was very impressive. From historical photographs and other artifacts, including a typewriter, a pair of old shoes, and a brush, items all relevant to Salindon's personal and political life are now on display in a special room named in his honor at the Harry Seymour Library. Even vintage dresses from Fashion Easter, Dame Marguerite, are included. The donation of these documents and memorabilia will provide students and, uh, and members of the public with a very strong appreciation of who he was. The collection is a lasting tribute, a chronology and history of a great Bahamian man. It adds value and interest to this library space and one that will help enrich the Linden's public legacy. Prime Minister Perry Christie again stressed the importance of recording the stories of all great Bahamians who have helped to build and shape the country. I would like to commission Mrs. Gail Saunders. I would like to commission Patty McCollis. I'd like to commission Dr. Tracy Thompson at the expense of the government to begin the writing of the history of significant Bahamians who, but for such an intervention, may not write it for themselves. The exhibition was created as a result of a partnership between COB and the Salinden Pinling Foundation. To date, the foundation has donated around $300,000 to the college. I hope that after seeing this room, those of you who, for whatever reason, choose to believe the wrong story about Linden Pinling will walk away from this exhibition with a new understanding and a new sense of pride of the hard work, time, commitment that he gave to this Bahamas. And for Kirkland Sands, it does just that. The library has done a pretty good job. It is a very impressive one. It, it speaks a lot to the history that may have been lost in the ages. Um, I think it's a pretty good one. Andrew Knowles, ZNS Network News.